bank check. And good evening, basketball fans, and welcome inside the W.T. Watson Center, home of the Mule Riders, and sign of tonight's Great American Conference matchup between the Tigers of East Central University and your Southern Arkansas University Mule Riders. Prior to tonight's game, I would ask everyone, please rise and remove all headgear as we honor America as the Riders Sound Band presents the National Anthem.
leading the starting lineups for tonight's game, which are brought to you by Farmers Bank and Trust with five locations in Magnolia. Farmers Bank and Trust here for you. First, the starters for the visiting Tigers of East Central University. A 5'6 junior out of Moore, Oklahoma, number one, Kennedy Cummings. A 5'7 sophomore from Adil, Oklahoma, number three, Jake Weiberg. A 5'11 grad student from Baldwin City, Kansas, number 14, Kate Ogle. A 5'7 senior from Choctaw, Oklahoma, number 20, Mackenzie Crusoe. And a 5'11 junior from Alexa, Kansas, number 24, Natalie Payne. East Central University, coached by head coach Heather Hurt. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's meet the starting sign up for your Southern Arkansas University Mule Riders. A 5'6 junior out of Edwards, Mississippi, number zero, Zakira Anderson. A 5'7 junior from Place Ealing, Louisiana, number one, Tequesa Chambers. A 5'10 junior out of Memphis, Tennessee, number five, Jessica Clemens. A 5'11 senior from South Louisiana, number 12, Eddie Trimmy. And a 5'11 senior out of Sheridan, number 23, Diamond Forrest. Coaching staff with your riders, assistant coaches, McConnell Lindsay and Alexis Sturgis, head coach with your riders, Adam Hammond. Jumping up for SAU against Kate Ogle. Tip up, controlled into the backcourt for SAU. Bringing it across, Zykeria Anderson. They'll work it to the left side. Over to Tremmy, then down to Morris. She backs it out. Gives up top Clemens. Bounce off on a back door. Cut from the right side. And Quay Chambers gets the lay-in. So SAU scoring on the first possession. Now put on the full court pressure. In the backcourt, pressure on Crusoe. She gives cross court. Now up into the front court comes Kennedy Cummings. Gives back to Crusoe up top to the free throw line. Fires there and scores. So East Central answers. 2-2 score. Tremmy takes it from Morris in the left corner. Brings it out top. Turns and shoots at the free throw line. Shot no good. Loose ball on the four. Picked up by Ogle for East Central. They get it ahead to Crusoe. Comes into the front court. Lobs it down low. Left it short, though. That was broken up by Tremmy. Goes to Morris. Morris coming the other way. Into the front court. Out to Tremmy at the top. Faked a three, then drives. Now throws it back out. Almost threw it away, but run down by Morris. Bounce up top to Clemens. Clemens, one dribble, then right to Chambers. Comes back left. Gives right to Anderson. She drives in. Penetration, then kick top. Driving Chambers up off the glass. Rattles and falls for Quay Chambers. 4-2, SAU. So each team has scored so far on their only possessions. Double team, backcourt. Pass off, knocked loose. Picked up by Morris for SAU after Clemens knocked it loose. Get it down low, and it's laid up and in by Quay Chambers. 6-2. 8.15 to play in the opening quarter. All six of SAU's points belong to Quay Chambers. Hook ahead in the backcourt. East Central with problems. They do not make it across. A 10-second backcourt violation. Turns it over to SAU. Pressure of SAU causes its uh, first, actually second turnover. 
That's the second on uh, East Central. Maybe third. Yeah, they hadn't updated yet. Third. In down at midcourt, SAU swapped out. Got Bright in there. Now up top to Wilbanks. Bounces to Reese at the left elbow. Now back to Wilbanks. Left, right, across top. Now gives back down the left side to Reese. Throws over right side and a little skip by Quay Chambers before the drive, and she turns it over. So first SAU turnover. Turnovers at 3-1. to one. East Central 3, SAU 1 so far. In the backcourt, Tigers, Crusoe. Up toward midcourt, double team. Long hook pass ahead. Now they got a two on one. Left elbow jumper won't go down for Weiberg. And Reese clears for SAU. Coming the other way is Bright, Marley Bright. Out between the circles, coming to get it, Reese. Give left side to Chambers. Chambers to the top, bounces there to Tremmy. And Tremmy will throw it off to Wilbanks. Coming out from the right side. Back right they go over to Tremmy. Feeds the right elbow to Reese. Bounce on a cut to Trenny. She kicks back out. Three won't go for Chambers. Reese the rebound. Bounces underneath the bright. She hits Chambers cutting through the paint. And she lays it in. 8-2 to two, SAU. And still all of SAU's points belong to Chambers. Front court bright knocks it loose as she slipped behind Crusoe. Chambers now ahead to bright. Picks up. Gives top of the key. And she almost traveled again. Gives left side to Trimmy. Trimmy's three is good. Addie Trimmy out on the left wing. Timeout. East Central. 11 to 2 SAU. This is Lady Mule Rider basketball. Timeout. SAU 5 out of 7 from the field, 71%. 1 out of 2 from 3. East Central's only got 2 field goal attempts thus far. They're 1 for 2. They have turned the ball over 4 times. And uh, SAU has turned it over once. Well, the East Central ball. After SAU took that 11 to 2 lead. On the Tigers. Inbound in the backcourt to Natalie Payne. Gives off to Crusoe. Double team. Passes cross court to Cummings. Up to midcourt. Now gives across to Payne. Waits for help. Gives back to Crusoe and around to the right side. Over to Havens. They bring it out top and on around to Cummings. Left wing. Feeds Crusoe. Left elbow drives in. Feeds low. Shot by Payne is blocked out of bounds by uh, Lynn Griffin for SAU. And East Central ball right baseline. Crusoe to throw it in. Bounce into the right corner to Wyberg. Dribbles to the wing. Lobs in low. Payne. Payne one dribble, then off the window. Missed it, though. And it's cleared by Clemens for SAU. In a hurry the other way. Ahead Anderson. They work it left over to Morris. Comes back right. Now back to Anderson on the wing. Give up top Griffin. Griffin with the... Uh, the hold and the pass off. Left side, Wilbanks, or right side, rather. Comes out top. Now give, driving Anderson. Kicks corner. Now they come all the way up to the top for a three that won't go by Wilbanks. And we got a whistle on the rebound. It's going to be out of bounds off of East Central. They say you ball it there in to inbound on the left baseline. Morris gives in, left corner. Wilbanks, and they'll work all the way around the perimeter. Four passes, get it around to the right side. Morris goes back left into Anderson. Feed inside to Griffin. Shot partially blocked. Had a little collision there. No whistle. And uh, East Central will lose ball. Into the front court. Work to the left side. A three left corner up and in for Mackenzie Crusoe. 
Lindsay, 11 to 5. Feed underneath at the SAU and layup attempt, no good. Clemens got it back. The follow would not go either, but she was fouled the second time. Fouled by Tatum Havens. It is her first. So Clemens shoots two for the Lady Mule Riders with 5.04 to go in the opening quarter. At the half, got our Magnolia Regional Medical Center halftime show coming your way. Magnolia Family Medical Clinic, your full-service health care provider for all members of your family, ages birth through end of life. They accept patients by walk-in or with an appointment. Call them at 235-3555. First free throw will not go for Miss Clemens. The next in and out. That's no good. Rebound Havens for ECU. Long pass to midcourt to Cummings standing on the half-court line. She looked like she wanted to pass it back. If she had done that, it would have been a backcourt violation. Instead, right wing alt. She missed a three. SAU coming the other way. Ahead it goes to Chambers. Drives down low from the right side. Gives back to Morris. Free throw line jumper good for Diamond Morris. 13-5 SAU. Pressure backcourt on Chloe Malone. For ECU stripped away by Bright. Malone got it back, but then she threw it away to Morris. Morris drives in and lays it in. Morris timed that perfectly just as she was trying to pass it off while in the seated position. Morris stepped in front, took it, and drove in for a layup. Crusoe front court double team gives left side to Havens. Dribbles in low, spin move. That's actually alt. Alt shot block. Loose ball to Bright. Reach from behind. Knocked it loose from Bright. And that's Tatum Havens with her second foul. So SAU ball backcourt. Just on the backcourt side of midcourt. 15 to 5 SAU. Remy's going to inbound. Every game with Spotlight and Mule Rider. Join us at halftime for our Bodcall Bank Mule Rider Spotlight. Bodcall Bank, local bank, local people. Enjoy the benefits of hometown banking at Bodcall Bank. We're featuring more than one at, at, uh, at halftime. We're going to feature a lot of new folks who have signed those letters to join the Mule Riders. Mule Rider football team and a couple on the volleyball team also. They're still working on theirs. Out top is Tremmy. Tried to give off to uh, Reese. It was knocked loose. Reese got it back and then dribbled into the paint. She lost the handle on it. Went out of bounds. It'll be East Central ball. So Tigers inbound in the backcourt to Cummings. Trying to elude a double team with the dribble. Up to the far sideline, gets it into the front court. Gives up top to Alt. Alt down to the corner. Now feed low to Malone. And they'll kick it back out top for Crusoe's three. Off the mark. Morris the rebound. Batted away from her by Cummings, but it went to Bright. Right front court for SAU. Penetration almost lost it. Saves back to Morris. Three up top. Rimmed out. No good. Cummings has it for ECU. She is tied up, but I think we got a foul. Or do we have a timeout? Jump ball. Jump ball. So it'll be uh, East Central ball. Tigers Cummings up the floor. Can't elude the double team. Passes across now to Weiberg. To the left elbow. Let's it fly off the bank. It's good for Jaden Weiberg. 15 to 7 with three minutes to play first quarter. Reese trailing at the SAU end, and she threw it away. She tried to uh, tried to pull it back like a yo-yo, but it was too late. She stopped the dribble and started the pass and couldn't bring it back. East Central, front court, Crusoe from Weiberg. Crusoe, penetration dribble on the run, no good. Tipped out, run down by Chambers for SAU. Comes front court, goes left, then down the paint. Now clears to Morris. Now up top, Trini for three on it for Eddie Trimmy. Her second three-pointer of the night. 18-7, SAU. Crusoe doubled up in the backcourt. Needs some help. Now lobs it across. Got it to Alt. To the left elbow. Let's it fly there. No, Morris has it for SAU. Now Bright. Bright will work it up the floor for SAU. Tried to throw off, but stolen by Cummings. Cummings drives in and lays it in. For East Central. She got the steal and she got the lay in. 18 to 9, SAU. Bright comes left. 
Gives to Trimmy, bringing it out. Now around, they go to the right side. Give to Morris, and they'll go back left now over to Bright. Trimmy got a screen coming out to the top. Couldn't get a three off. They get it to the left corner of Morris. Off the dribble, now kicks back up to Trimmy. Six to shoot. Over to Anderson, right corner. Dribbles out, two seconds. Kick back to Trimmy, three right corner, no. And East Central has it. Just barely got that one off before the shot clock buzzer. Front court, right side, alt for ECU. They're working around the left side. Over to Cummings. Cummings double team there. Able to hook it off to Malone. Now across to Weiberg for three, and she got it. Jaden Weiberg cuts the SAU lead to 18 to 12. Now Bright for SAU. They work it to the left side. Down to Trimmy. Goes left baseline. And uh, a hand check foul called on, on uh, Kennedy Cummins. That's her first. Only one Cummings this year. I'm thinking last year. There was a Cummings and two Cummings on East Central's women's team. I could be wrong on that, but I think that's right. Just the one Cummings this year. Bounce into the left corner. Two Wilbanks. Comes out to the left wing. Now dribbles down. And she'll throw it up top for a three. Off the mark. That was Riley Stanford with the three. Rebound out of bounds. Touched last by the Tigers. They'll inbound SAU will on the right baseline. Layla Carter in the game gives it in. They work it all the way around to Carter on left wing. Give up top to Anderson. Drives down the paint. She was bumped as she did so. And a whistle and a foul on Kate Ogle. Her first, that's the 14 foul on the uh, Lady Tigers. And SAU will inbound from the left baseline. Carter to inbound, bounces in low to Griffin. Griffin shot blocked by Ogle. Ogle able to save it in to uh, teammate Crusoe in the backcourt. Crusoe comes up the floor after the turnover. No pressure back there. 16 seconds left in the quarter. They're going to hold it for the last shot, it looks like. Six-point game. Crusoe right to left with a screen and a foul on Wilbanks. Crashing into the screen. That's her first. East Central inbounds left sideline at their end. Team foul one on SAU, the only foul of the quarter. Crusoe gave it in, then takes it back left wing. Three, no good. Ogle rebounds, kicks out to all, backs up. Three, no, and that's the end of the first quarter. 18 to 12, SAU after one. This is Lady Neal Rider basketball. Hey guys, Lucas Cheatham here. Kick off the new year with the new you. My mom, Christy, and her team at Health Quest Therapy want to help you feel your best while knocking down those new year resolutions. Health Quest Therapy offers one-on-one care, dry needling, speech therapy, LSVT big, physical therapy, and more. Stop by 1515 East Main Street or visit healthquesttherapy.net. New year means it's time for a new you. Stop by Health Quest Therapy today. Winning in sports is about calling the right play, followed by flawless execution. If you need a hotel in Magnolia, the right play is to call Holiday Inn Express. Then their team will execute your stay with a clean, comfortable room, fresh, hot breakfast with healthy options, and access to their fitness center and Wi-Fi, along with plus one reward points for your stay. Call the right play for your visiting friends and associates. Call the Holiday Inn Express in Magnolia. Central, a lot of turnovers early in that quarter, but they kind of got it turned around a little bit. SAU then uh, started turning it over. At the end of the quarter, five turnovers for East Central, four for Southern Arkansas. SAU still with the lead on points off turnovers, though, at 9-2, to two, and a 10-2 to two advantage in the paint for SAU. 33% shooting for the Tigers in the first quarter. Uh, five out of 15, SAU 8 for 17, 47%. And they're two out of seven from three for 29%. East Central three. SAU ball to start the second quarter up by six. Up top, Will Banks bounces off there to uh, Griffin. She gives it back out. Now 
lob into Griffin, cutting to the bucket, and Lynn Griffin puts it in. Makes it 20 to 12, SAU. Inbound for the Tigers to Crusoe. Trying to dribble away from a double team. Now passes ahead to Weiberg. Into the front court, three left wing. Alt connects for ECU. Makes it 20 to 15. SAU works right over to Will Banks, brings it out now. Bounce to Griffin at the free throw line. She'll give it right to Stanford. Comes out, gives back right. Now Stanford comes over to get it. Back left, they go to Anderson. Penetration dribble and a travel as she picked up the dribble. Ball, the dribble stopped, but the feet didn't. So a turnover will give it to the Tigers. So another SAU turnover. That evens the turnovers at five apiece. Five point SAU lead. Tigers inbound to Crusoe, backcourt. Up to midcourt, gets it across, and then draws the double team. Able to bounce it off to Alt. And Alt will give it back to Crusoe. Now around they come to Weiber. Back to the top to Alt. To Crusoe, left wing. She lobs inside the paint, down low. A turnaround by Malone is good. Her first bucket. Cuts the SAU lead to three. SAU up the floor, go right, then left. Now back over to the right side to Hawkins. Hawkins had just checked in. Gives right to Chambers. Dribbles to the top. Gives right to Hawkins. Might have got away with the travel. Gives it top of the key. Now left wing to Morris. Morris bounces high to Reese. And Tremmy, left wing, six to shoot. Dribbles down, gives to Morris in the corner. Drives in low, and a blocking foul as she's going up down low. So Morris will go to the line, fouled by Kate Ogle. That was one of those that uh, could have gone either way. Morris was going to get two out of it. Might have got the, uh, the old home court advantage call on that one. The first free throw for Morris is good. At the half, got our Magnolia Regional Medical Center halftime show coming your way. At the MRMC Primary Care Clinic, you always feel like family. Both free throws good. Dr. Neal and Becky Pierce treat patients at the Primary Care Clinic. They treat patients of all ages and specialize in wellness checks and illness recovery. Call for an appointment, 235-3550. In the backcourt, Crusoe for ECU, 22-17 SAU. Long lob into the front court to Alt. Down the left side, throws it across. A little, that one floated a little too much, and Chambers caught up and intercepted it. Now Hawkins, front court to Tremmy up top. Tremmy drives down the left side, shovels off the glass, no good. And ECU comes away with it. Crusoe rebounds and now brings it into the front court. They'll work it to the left side over to Weiberg. Now back out top, that's Alt. Again on the left, then back up top, they'll feed Payne at the free throw line. Payne penetrates with the dribble, gives over to Crusoe. She comes right to the free throw line, lets it go there, and it's good. 22-19. Again, the SAU lead is cut to three. In the front court comes Hawkins. Over to uh, Tremmy. Now back around to the right side. That's kind of what they do every time up the floor. They'll go, to, they'll go to one side, and then they'll dribble it around and work it around the perimeter. Now a bounce into Reese. It went off her hands and turned over to East Central. Here comes Crusoe. Picks it up, top of the key. Pushes it over to Weiberg to her right. Now back left to Alt at the top. Over to the left side. Now a long skip pass over to Weiberg. Comes out top, slipped off her hands, picked up by Hawkins. Hawkins coming the other way, drives the paint, puts it up on the run, and it's good for Kelsey Hawkins. 24-19. Ball to the turnover. It gave Hawkins an advantage on the break. Lob ahead to Alt, went too long, but she tracked it down. Clears it back to Weinberg, now out to Crusoe. 15 to shoot, works right, and up top, now right back to Crusoe on the wing. Lob to the right elbow to Payne. Payne dribbles low. Fakes got Morris in the air. Now, she, she indecision down there. Rather 
after she got her in the air rather than taking the shot she was looking to pass it off nobody was open by that time she was covered again and she was in the lane for way longer than three seconds and they blew the whistle on that it turns it over to SAU 24 19 six minutes to play in the second quarter front court right to left over to the left side to Trimmy and back right they come and to Morris Kicks out top, back left, they come over to Bright. Starts right, now dribbles down left. Throws it back out top to Chambers. She drives down, then kicks to Bright. Runner up the left baseline is good for Marley Bright. That's the 26-19 SAU. Crusoe pressured by Chambers. Up to midcourt, now Bright doubles her up. She passed across though to Cummings. Cummings got it down low. And Malone wide open, missed a layup, and SAU's coming the other way. And they turn it over. Right through cross court, trying to hit Morris and Trimmy over there. She uh, led both of them by too much, and it went out of bounds. Turns it over to East Central. 26-19. Turnovers mounting for both of these teams here tonight. Cummings up the floor to midcourt. Sees a double team coming, backs up, now throws it across to Crusoe. Crusoe started to drive, now circles it back out. Work it right over to Cummings, and then back out top. Stay you showing the zone here. Looks like a 1 3 1. Dribble in low, shot up inside, a miss in close by Payne, and it's pulled down by Clemens. Stay you on the run. Ahead to Will Banks, bounce off inside. Stanford able to save it out. Ball, though, still loose, and it's picked up by Payne for the Tigers. Ahead to Cummings. She drives to the bucket. Another miss inside. She missed a layup, and SAU's coming the other way. East Central missing a lot in close. Left wing three at the SAU end. Won't go down for Stanford, and it bounces out the right side and out of bounds. Timeout with 4.17 to go in the first half. 26-19 SAU. This is the Rider Basketball. What do I like about being a local agent for Farm Bureau Insurance? Above all, I like helping people, using my insurance experience to make Columbia County a better, safer place. Insurance is a necessity, and I take pride in helping people find the right coverage for all of their needs. Hi, I'm Mike Jones, Agency Manager at Farm Bureau Insurance. Give me a call at 870-234-1966, and let me show you how we can save you time and money. Car dealerships are not the same. Hi, Jim Golden with Jim Golden, Ford, Lincoln, and Camden. The difference is we consider our customers part of our family, and families take care of each other. There's no such thing as an unhappy customer when you do business with us. And if you have a problem, we have a problem, and we're going to fix it. That's just how we do business at Jim Golden, Ford, Lincoln. Come see what it's like to buy from family. I'm Jim Golden, and I'll guarantee you'll like it. Come see for yourself why we say at Jim Golden, Ford, Lincoln, and Camden, where the dealer makes the difference. Game of Spotlight of Mule Rider. Join us at halftime for our Bot Call Bank. Mule Rider Spotlight Bot Call Bank. Three locations to serve you North Jackson in Magnolia, Thomas Street in Stamps, and Richmond Road in Texarkana. Enjoy the benefits of hometown banking at Bot Call Bank. Tiger Ball in the backcourt. Seven point edge for SAU. Double team in the backcourt on Crusoe. Lobs across, though. Belcher into the game. She got it to the baseline to Chloe Malone, who drove and laid it in. And she is fouled by Riley Stanford. Stanford's first foul. So it'll be a chance for a three-point play for Malone. And the free throw. Long, no good. Two SAU players going for it. Almost knocked it out of bounds, but saved it in. 26-21. Give left side at the SCU end. To Tremmy, brings it out top. Bounce off there to Clemens. We'll throw it over to Anderson. Down the right side, turns, feeds out to Will Banks. Now around they come to Stanford. Comes back right with the dribble. Up to Will Banks. Penetration. Kicks to the right corner to Stanford for three. No good. 
Down with it is Belcher for ECU, but had it taken away by Clemens and got it inside to Addie Trimmy and Trimmy laid it in. 28 to 21. Long pass over the top of the uh, pressure. Gets it into the front court for ECU. Three out top for Crusoe. Won't go. Rebound out of bounds off of SAU. Morris checks in for SAU as Stanford out. Seven point SAU lead. That's an underneath to a cutter, but now they'll lob it out to the left wing to Cummins. Now top of the key. Ariel West makes her first appearance. Work it left and a lob in low to Malone. Malone going underneath, reverse layup, no good. And out of bounds off of Malone, says the official. Ball came flying out of her hands. I wasn't sure if it was blocked out, but apparently she just lost it. So out of bounds to SAU. The other way they, that they come. Trimmy brought it up, gets it back in the left corner. Dribbles toward the left elbow. Now all the way out, picks it up. Bounces to Clemens coming out. Bounce on a backdoor cut to Anderson. Layup no good. ECU coming the other way. West on the break. Kicks off to the left side to Belcher. Back to West. Drives left baseline. Turns. Clears it back out to Belcher. Now it's Crusoe up top. Comes right. Gives there to Cummings. Now back left. Down to the left corner. Belcher. Three is an air ball long. But caught by Chloe Malone. And Malone puts it in. She was in the right spot at the right time there and got two out of it. So the missed three works just as good as the pass. Right wing is Will Banks. Dribbles out top. Get back right to Trimmy. Trimmy to Will Banks. Down the right side. Drives. Missed off the window and Will Banks ended up on the floor. We got a blocking foul. Yeah, it looks like it on Alexis Belcher on the drive. So Will Banks is going to the line. She shoots two for SAU. A minute 58 to play in the first half. Subs for SAU, Reese and Bright enter. Will Banks free throw, rolled the rim, no good. Free throw shooting has not been a high point for SAU in recent games. Missed the first one, got the second one. 29-23, SAU. Coming into tonight on the year, SAU 64% from three-point range. But it just, I haven't done all the numbers, but recent games, free throw shooting has not been good. Feed down low, ECU, Malone, now they work it back out. Now to the left side over to Crusoe. Crusoe throws back to the top to Cummings. Work it right, then quickly low. And Malone gets a lay-in for the Tigers. 29-25. And SAU on a fast break. They got it ahead to Reese. And Reese got the lay-in. 31-25 SAU. Pressure backcourt on Cummings. Gets it ahead to Belcher. Now across Crusoe. Drives, slapped away by Chambers. It goes out of bounds. Going to stay with the Tigers at their end. We've been 16 left in the first half in the second quarter. Crusoe to inbound right baseline. 31-25 SAU. That's a long, long count. She got it in. It was stolen by Morris. And then Morris throws it too far, but Clemens ran it down. And Clemens trying to throw it back. Therese had it battered away out of bounds by uh, Kenzie Herman. So out of bounds, SAU, left side free throw line extended. 110 to play first half. And to Bright at the top of the key. Bounces to Morris at the right elbow. She hands to Chambers, coming around, took the handoffs. Statue of Liberty play. Chambers ends up down low, missed a short bank shot, but she draws the foul on Mackenzie Herman. That'll be two shots. A minute one to play in the half. Thirty-one twenty-five, our score. Halftime show coming up. Our Magnolia Regional Medical Center halftime show. 
Don't have to leave Magnolia to receive high-level surgical care. The staff at the MRMC Surgical Clinic provide both inpatient and outpatient surgical services right here at home. Call for information, 235-3600. New general surgeon at Magnolia Regional Medical Center, Dr. Jose Zamora. Well, both free throws missed for Chambers and East Central, the rebound. Long pass out to midcourt to Belcher. And they'll get it across, but a 10-second violation. Oh, that was a quick 10. That seemed like a quick 10 to me, but that's the call, and it'll be SAU ball at midcourt. So SAU inbounds at midcourt. Working it to the left side, hand to Tremmy. She brings it out and around to Morris, right wing. Side to side, bring it up top, then back right. Now to a uh, cutting CC Reese. Reese lays it in and draws the foul. She'll go to the line. She's going to see if she can make that uh, three point play. They're trying to get one of the, uh, oh, the, the coach came, the coach for East Central was coming in this direction. He was. He was looking for the, the athletic trainers. The East Central young lady is down on the floor. And uh, they are the trainer for us. He was down there checking on her. Hopefully she'll be all right. Checking on her, talking to her. So that they're, they're communicating. So she's not unconscious. Not checking on any of her limbs, like arms, legs, hands, feet, any of that. We've got, got a towel wrapped around her head. Checking on her head. So apparently she hit her head when she went down, is what I'm guessing. But they're, they're, they're checking her out very thoroughly. You get hit in the head, and of course they've got the questions they're going to ask you and make sure that you know where you are. Check, uh, you know, the concussion protocol. Now they're holding uh, holding a, a, a gauze, uh, some type of bandage up on her, the right side of her forehead. So I'm guessing it may be bleeding. She is still on her backside, but they're helping her now to her feet. And they're holding the gauze on her forehead, trying to get her to hold her, hold her hand up there. So they're going to, she's going to walk off under her own, uh, under her own power but both the athletic trainers for SAU are right there one on one side one on the other and she's not real sure on her feet right now so they'll get her completely checked out meanwhile Kaylee Alt will check in for her I am guessing that's the one that that's the one that they called a foul on, right, Cummings? So she, yeah, she's the young lady that was hurt. Reese is at the line trying to finish off a three-point play. 37 seconds left in the half. Free throw is no good, and Crusoe clears it for East Central. Free throw shooting woes continue for SAU. Crusoe, front court between the circles. They got about six seconds difference between the shot clock and game clock. Crusoe gives left, takes it back now, comes right. Off over there to Alt. She'll dribble it out top. Now Herman takes it. Gives back to Crusoe. Long three as the shot clock is winding down. No good. Belcher, though, with the follow in the paint. And she gets the two. 33-27. SAU has to hurry. Hawkins three, right wing. No good. As the buzzer was just before the buzzer, she released that long three. It was no good, and we've come to the half. SAU up 33 to 27 over the Tigers of East Central University. This is Lady Beer Rider Basketball. It's mighty hard to resist an order of Domino's Loaded Tots. You have your choice of three different mouth-watering toppings. There's Domino's Cheddar Bacon Loaded Tots with a perfect combo of gooey cheese and crisp bacon. Or how about Domino's Philly Cheesesteak Loaded Tots? Or last but not least, Domino's Melty Three Cheese Loaded Tots covered with a blend of mozzarella, cheddar, and provolone cheese plus Alfredo sauce. Add some Loaded Tots to your next Domino's order. Order online or on the Domino's app and earn piece of the pie rewards. 
If you're a business owner, you have a lot on your mind. Have you thought about how you'll eventually leave it all behind? It's good to start considering your exit strategy early. You have three main options. You could sell or transfer to someone already affiliated with the company, such as a family member, business partner, or group of employees. You could sell to an unrelated third party, or you could simply liquidate. Each option may have advantages and disadvantages. Talk to an Edward Jones financial advisor, Mark Woods, Laura Kroll, Steve Hardy, or Patrick Dodd. Edward Jones, member SIPC. The Magnolia Regional Medical Center General Surgery Clinic at 1005 North Jackson in Magnolia is excited to introduce to Magnolia Dr. Jose Zamora, General Surgeon. Dr. Zamora brings more than 30 years of surgery experience to Southwest Arkansas and looks forward to serving our community. Dr. Zamora performs most types of general surgery procedures and takes direct appointments or referrals from your primary care provider. Call the MRMC General Surgery Clinic today to schedule your appointment, 870-235-3600. What are you waiting for? Stop warming the bench and join a winning team at the Corner Clubhouse on the Magnolia Square. The Corner Clubhouse is currently hiring for kitchen and wait staff positions. Email your resume to tccmagnolia at gmail.com or stop by 100 South Washington and fill out an application. If you don't have a resume, just email your information. No phone calls, please. For updates, follow the Corner Clubhouse on Facebook. The Corner Clubhouse, serving South Arkansas since 2016. I'm Faith Armstrong. If you worry about your safety or your loved ones, Columbia County Ambulance Service would like you to know about CareLink. CareLink provides an instant link to emergency response every minute, every day. The standard version provides protection surrounding the home, and a mobile unit offers protection anywhere. The area covered includes Columbia, Hempstead, Nevada, Ouachita, Lafayette Counties, and Claiborne Parish. Call Columbia County Ambulance today to schedule your installation. Back on our Magnolia Regional Medical Center halftime show. Do you always feel tired and exhausted? Even after a night of sleep, you may suffer from a variety of common sleep disorders. The Magnolia Regional Medical Center Sleep Lab can diagnose disorders and get you on your way to a full night's rest. Ask your health care provider about a sleep study at Magnolia Regional Medical Center. In the uh, first half, 50% shooting for SAU, 50 or excuse me, 43% shooting for East Central. They were 12 for 28, SAU 14 for 28 from three. Three out of nine for ECU and two for 11 for SAU. 0 for one at the free throw line for East Central and 50% for SAU. Uh, no, it's less than 50. Four out of uh, four out of nine. That drives coaches crazy, doesn't it, coach? What's that? Free throw line. Yes. Free throw shooting uh, under 50%. Yes, it does. <laughs> They're free. Make those hairs get gray. That's right. Yeah. It gets gray, rather. Yeah. How are you, sir? Doing well. How are you? Oh, I'm good. I missed the I missed the uh, the first meeting between you and these guys at East Central, but uh, your guys played very well over there. Yeah, we played really hard. Um, we did a really good job of sticking to the game plan. Um, they've got they've got really good players. Um, they run really good sets offensively. I think they're they're really good defensively. Um, so don't let their record fool you. They're, they're a very, very good team, and we've got to have everybody locked in uh, this game tonight and really try to execute again. We're, we're entering the home stretch here, aren't we? We've got, what, eight conference games left. Uh, got Going to have to win some games to get to that GAC tournament, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. I think uh, we're three games away from third place or something like that, you know. So, yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, it's just so. Yeah, and, and um, so our guys are just. You know, the, the message to our guys have been just take it one half at a time. Um, you can't look at game. Just just uh, win it one half of a, at a time. And we've kind of even broken it down even further into eight rounds like a heavyweight fight. We've got to try to win five out of eight rounds in the game. And um, if we can do that, I think we're going to like where we're at uh, with about four minutes to play. And then let's win that last round. Yeah, that's... Uh... That, 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 there are there are those key times in the game, aren't they? Opening tip, it seems like, as the first half winds down, as the second half starts, and then obviously that you know those those last few minutes of the ball game. Yeah, those are crucial times. I mean, getting off to a really good start. I mean, that's kind of what doomed us against Northwestern Oklahoma, doomed us against Southwestern Oklahoma was the the starts to the first half and the second half. Um, so we've got to do a much better job 
um, starting the game. We've got to do a much better job. The most important part of the game to me is the first five minutes, the four minutes to the media, and then a, a minute after the media, the second half. And we didn't do a good job of that in either game. So um, we did a great job of fighting back. But if we could put 40 minutes together, that'd be great. Well, a couple of home games this week, so let's uh, make hay while the sun shines at home, right? Let's do it. Let's <laughs> do right, it. Coach, good Thank luck. you. Coach Logan Quinn joining us here at halftime. SAU ladies up 34 to 27 at the half as we continue on our Magnolia Regional Medical Center halftime show. Again, SAU 14 of 28 from the field. East Central is 12 of 28 from the field. They've made one more three than SAU, but SAU with uh, a lot more trips to the free throw line. SAU went there nine times. As I said, they didn't hit for very many of them, but still, East Central only went there once and, and missed that. Uh, on the rebounding, uh, East Central with a slight edge, an 18 to 16 edge on rebounding. The uh, the turnovers, East Central with 12 in the first half, eight for Southern Arkansas. East Central, a lot of turnovers early in the game, and then it went on went went kind of the mo- it it shifted uh, the other way, the momentum, and it seemed like SAU was turning it over quite a bit. SAU then got it under under control and uh, forced some more turnovers the other way. So. A 12-8 uh, turnover margin there. 12 for East Central, 8 for Southern Arkansas. And and more importantly, points off turnovers, 18, 18-4 SAU in points off turnovers. Uh, individual numbers for you for SAU. Quay Chambers with, uh, with 9 points. And uh, she got most of those 9 at, uh, well, very early. She got the first 8 of the game. She, she scored the first eight points. It was eight, eight to two, I think, at that point. SAU um, they ended up after a three by Tremmy. It was eleven to two. SAU before East Central battled their way back in there, and then it was pretty much after East Central uh, kind of got back in, got got back within uh, about five, six, seven. Uh, it pretty much stayed that way for the rest of the first half. So again, nine points for Quay Chambers, eight for Eddie Tremmy. Six points for Diamond Morris, four for C.C. Reese. Got uh, two for Marley Bright, two for Lynn Griffin, two for Kelsey Hawkins, and one for Chloe Wilbanks. Quay Chambers with three assists in that first half for SAU. Uh, for East Central, they were led in scoring by Chloe Malone, who came off the bench to give them a lift. She scored eight in the first half. Mackenzie Crusoe had seven and uh, five for Jaden Weiberg. Kennedy Cummings with two. Kaylee Alt with a three. Two points for Alexis Belcher. So again, SAU by seven at the half, 34 to 27. As we continue on our Magnolia Regional Medical Center halftime show, a quick break, and we'll come back. We've got our Vodka Bank Mule Rider Spotlight coming your way. This is Mule Rider Basketball. Tri-County Oil is a proud sponsor of SAU Mule Rider Sports. Tri-County is your number one source for a complete line of Exxon Mobil oils, K1 kerosene, mineral spirits, antifreeze, no-tax farm diesel, tax-paid road diesel, and 91-octane non-ethanol gasoline. Plus, gear oil, grease, motor and hydraulic oil, transmission fluids, and more. Tri-County Oil on North Vine in Magnolia. Open Monday through Friday, 7 to 5. Why would you go anywhere else for oil or gas? We appreciate your business at Tri-County Oil. Know what's nice? You could drive to Whataburger right now if you wanted to. Yeah, you could hang a Louie, talk to Reggie at the counter, and get a freshly made 100% beef double meat Whataburger with melted cheese and fresh cut veggies on a 5-inch bun. It's just the delicious freedom you have living in the land where there's Whataburger. Of course, some people aren't in that land. wonder what they're doing right now. Probably thinking about a road trip. Whataburger. Just like you like it. Vodka Bank has known the benefit of hometown banking for over 120 years, and we are proud to offer you just that with local leadership and local decisions. Hi, I'm Gina Gore, Vice President of Vodka Bank. Come see us in Stamps or visit one of our other locations in Magnolia or Texarkana. We are committed to making your experience as our customer priority one. Whatever your banking needs may be, Vodka Bank is here and ready for what's ahead. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender.
33-27, Southern Arkansas at the uh, half. Time for our Mule Rider Spotlight brought to you by Bodco Bank. 21-25, North Jackson and Magnolia. 307 Thomas and Stamps. And 36-25, Richmond Road and Texarkana. Enjoy the benefits of hometown banking at Bodco Bank, serving us in South Arkansas since 1903. We got, we got more than one spotlight. We have 22 spotlights, 22 featured uh one place it says 22 the other place it says 19 i'm guessing some of those yes yeah, some of those are uh, are transfers so 19 incoming freshmen for sau uh football so uh i'm doing i'm gonna go through this i don't have a lot of information on each of them but i'm gonna i'm gonna run through the list here as quickly as i can don't have a whole lot of time left jamarian burton uh six three 220 pound defensive end from Prescott High School, Prescott, Arkansas. Dale and Ellis, a defensive tackle, 5'11", 300, out of Missouri City, Texas. Played at Fort Bend Hightower High School. Drake Griffin, a tight end, 6'1", 220, from Natchitoches, Louisiana, St. Mary's High School. Colin Hitchcock, a 6'4", 220-pound quarterback from McKinney, Texas. Played at McKinney North. Uh, Antonio Johnson, offensive line, 6'3", 265, from Lakeview Centennial High School in Garland, Texas. Caleb Johnson, a quarterback from Camden Harmony Grove High School, 5'11", 185. Cameron Johnson, a 6'2", 285-pound defensive tackle from Monroe, Louisiana, from Neville High School. Uh, Braxton Jones, 6'1", 220, linebacker, Nacogdoches, Texas. Xavier Tut McGolfin, 5'7", 165-pound cornerback from Cotton Valley, Louisiana, North Webster High School. Caleb Phillips, uh, 6'3", 210, linebacker from the Woodlands, Texas. Uh, Tristan Powell, a 6'1", 210-pound linebacker from Texarkana, Texas, from Texas High. Texas High. Andrew Rogers, a 6'2", 265-pound defensive tackle from Nacogdoches, Texas. Tate Settle, 6'2", 310-pound offensive lineman from Bryant, Arkansas. Tyler Tates, a 6'4", 300-pound offensive lineman from Conroe, Texas. Katrivian Thomas, a 6-foot, 190-pound athlete from Mineral Springs, Arkansas. Terry Wells, Jr., a 6'2", 175-pound wide receiver from Arkansas High in Texarkana. Jamin Wheeler, a 6'2", 220-pound defensive end from Pleasant Grove High School in Texarkana, Texas. Demarion Williams, a 5'11", 160-pound defensive back out of Mesquite, Texas. And Lawson Worthy, a 6'2", 220-pound tight end from Greenbrier, Arkansas. And the transfers, Travian Dickens uh, from Prescott, Arkansas, transferred from Army. He's 5'10", 180-pound athlete. Rasheen Green, a 6-foot, 180-pound wide receiver from Katy, Texas, transferred in from Angelo State. And Vernon Henderson, a 6'1", 285-pound defensive end from Dallas, Texas, who transfers to SAU from Navarro College. So 19 high school signees and a total of 22 new members for the SAU football team. So those 22 are featured on our Bot Call Bank Mule Rider Spotlight. Our spotlight, again, a service of Bot Call Bank serving us in South Arkansas since 1903. 33-27, SAU at the half, second half coming up. This is Mule Rider Basketball. If you're like most Americans, you spend over eight hours a week in your car. So naturally, you want to be satisfied with this performance. That's why you need to know about Spitler Tire and Auto. Folks around here have been trusting Spitler Tire and Auto for over 17 years. They have 10 service bays to handle all kinds of repairs, tune-ups, brakes, mufflers, oil changes, tires, and more. Whatever your car or truck needs, trust the experts at Spitler Tire and Auto in the Dairy Queen Shopping Center, 521 East Main in Magnolia. At Southern Medical Group, we want you to get ahead of the flu season and come by the office to get your flu shot. No appointment is necessary. You may come in during regular hours, 8 to 5, Monday through Friday. We also offer the flu shot that is recommended for age 65 and older. Most insurance companies will pay for the flu shot. The doctors and nurse practitioners at Southern Medical Group feel that your health, safety, and well-being are of the utmost importance during the flu season. Southern Medical Group, 211 East Stadium Street, Magnolia. Second half, SAU and East Central. 
here in Magnolia. East Central first possession. SAU leads 33-27. Tigers into the backcourt to Mackenzie Russo. Russo brings it front court to uh, Cummings, and she'll give it out top. That's Weiberg. Works left, bounces off over there back to Crusoe. Dribbles in low, steps back, puts it up, rattles and falls for Mackenzie Crusoe. She has nine. It's 33 to 29. SAU front court works left side. Now out top and over to the right to Anderson. Bounce to Clemens coming out. Back right over to Chambers. Chambers dribbles to the top, gives right to Anderson. Now around the perimeter, left side, Morris. Clemens comes out for it to the free throw line, gives to Trimmy. Three seconds, they get it to Morris, left corner. Three rattles, comes back out. Ogle has it for ECU. Russo up the floor. ECU in a, uh, is that a two-three zone, I think? Wob is stolen. She threw it. Ogle, I, I guess it was for Ogle. Ogle cut toward the bucket, and it came right to an SAU player. Now driving right baseline at the SAU end was Chambers and a foul on Natalie Payne. Her first, first team foul of this third quarter. Inbound for the baseline. Now into Morris. Morris better get out of the lane. There she goes. She kicked it back out rather than going up inside. Now driving is Trimmy. She missed on the penetration and the jumper and a foul against Crusoe on the rebound. Eight minutes, 37 seconds left in the third quarter. Bounce pass into the paint to Clemens. Clemens puts it off the window. No good. Foul on ECU. That'll be Ogle. Kate Ogle with three. So two shots. 8.35 to play in the third quarter. Clemens going to the line for SAU. Clemens has not scored. She went to the line in the first quarter, missed both of them. See what she does here. The first is no good. SAU is four for nine at the free throw line in the first half. Now at four for 10. Another one for Clemens. That won't go either. And down over on the left sideline as the ball went that away. Battle for it between uh, an SAU and an East Central player, and it went out of bounds. They're saying off ECU. I think that was off Cummings. It'll be SAU ball. Give to Morris at the free throw. Hands off to Chambers down the right side, and as she stopped the dribble, she lost it out of bounds. Turns it over to the Tigers. 8.26 to play in the third quarter. And the backcourt over to Malone. Uh, ahead to Crusoe. Crusoe dribbles across. Double team. Able to bounce it away to Malone. Now in high to Cummings. Dribbles down low. Puts it off the glass. No good. Clemens has it for SAU. Clemens does have a, a bandage. One of those like butterfly bandages that apparently she's got a cut on her forehead on the right side. It's uh, holding, that, holding that together. Don't see any blood. That's good. Give left side Morris three at the SAU and no good. Loose ball come to Clemens. Now out to the top. A miss there by Anderson. Scramble for the rebound and falling down. Got an SAU player and an East Central player. And then Morris went down trying to come up with a loose ball. They're going to call. Nope, no foul. I think just a jump ball. <laughs> Did they call a foul, or did they call 20 on the shot clock? Not a foul, I don't think. They signaled 20, but I think he put 20 on the board, right? Miss at the SAU end, and a foul. Quay Chambers of SAU, a foul going for the rebound. So East Central ball at the SAU end, 33 to 29 SAU four point game SAU has not helped themselves a bit I hate to beat a dead horse but they haven't helped themselves at the free throw line 
At midcourt, pass across to Weiberg. Gives back left to Payne. Crowd thought there should have been a 10-second backcourt violation. And they were looking at the shot clock. Driving is Perso. Her shot blocked away out of bounds. It'll stay with East Central. From the left baseline. Bounce in underneath as Cummings got free underneath. And she lays it in. Give off left side. Tremmy brings the dribble, top of the key. Now back left. And around to Wilbanks' right wing. She bounces Teresa at the free throw line. Kicks to Bright. Five to shoot. Bright over to Wilbanks. Down to the baseline. Gives back to Reese. Reese puts it off the glass. And she scores. Somehow, the shot clock was winding down. I don't know how she got it off in time. But she threw it in on an angle and, and banked it in. East Central now down to the left corner. 35-31. SAU. And a miss at the Tiger in. Here comes SAU. Pass ahead to Chambers into the paint. Offensive foul on Quay Chambers. Head numbers. Offensive foul, though, going against SAU and a turnover. East Central in the backcourt. I just realized they made a change on the stats. First East Central into the front court. They get it low. The pain, pain is fouled going up. So pain is going to go to the line. Foul on CeCe Reese, her first. I told you at halftime, SAU was four out of nine from, from the free throw line. They're actually three for nine because they gave uh, Chambers credit for a make. And she didn't make it. She was over two. So uh, they corrected that. And uh, it, uh, so the free throw shooting is worse than I thought. Pain at the free throw line. Her first free throw is good. I was wondering how they say you could have four makes at half and only three now, but that's 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 the read because they corrected that. A miss on the second free throw. Front court SAU after the rebound to the baseline. Trimmy now gives it out to Reese on the left wing. Will Banks comes out top for it. Comes right with the dribble. Gives off over there to Morris. Up to Reese then at the top. Now Wilbanks flashes out. Throws back right to Morris. Drives in, throws out left for a three. It pins between the rim and the backboard. That's a jump ball. When that happens, we'll have to poke it out. The mop guy gets a hand from the uh, from the student body over there for poking it out, and it goes into the basket. Probably be his only his only applause tonight. Maybe not. Left baseline, SAU ball with the arrow pointing their direction. Lob out top to Tremmy. Fires with two on the shot clock. No good from three. Weiberg has it for ECU. Now Crusoe crosses midcourt. Bounce right side over to Cummings. She'll clear it to the top to Malone. Malone to Crusoe, driving, layup, jump, no good. Might have been partially blocked. Anderson has it for SAU into the front court. Over on the right side, pops it there, it's good. Vicaria Anderson with the two, makes it 37 to 32. Student, student, student body growing in numbers over there, and they're getting more into it. Crusoe, free throw line jumper for East Central, no good. Morris has it for the Lady Murex. Now Anderson comes the other way. Up top, Reese. Now left wing. That is Morris. Morris dribbles to the top. She'll bounce it off to Tremmy. Now Will Banks comes out for it right side. Dribbles to the top. Gives back right to Tremmy. Now Reese up top. 4-15. Eight to shoot. Over to Tremmy right wing. Bounce. Trying to bounce it down to Reese. And a holding foul going 
against Malone of ECU. That's her first. Got a timeout with 4 10 third quarter. 37 32 SAU. This is New Water Basketball. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, the experienced team at Southern Caregivers provides expert care to you and your loved ones. Southern Caregivers also provides needed support for seniors, allowing them to remain in the comfort of their own home and maintain their independence. The nurturing and caring companions can be matched to meet emotional, spiritual, and physical needs of the individuals they care for. Call 501-463-9990 today and speak with one of our professionals or visit southerncaregiversar.com. Hurry up, dude. The game's about to start. Nothing beats spending the day watching the game with your buddies. Dude, I'm literally right here. Let's do this. Which is why a shelter insurance renter's policy is key to your winning game plan. It protects things your landlord's policy doesn't. Uh, dude, where's your TV? What? Oh, no way, dude. Like that flat screen TV that just got stolen. Ask shelter agent Gary Donfera about a free personal protection review today. The game will name our People's Bank player of the game. Refer a friend to People's Bank. If your friend opens any checking account, you and your friend both receive a thank you gift. Visit referpbmag.com to earn your choice of an Amazon gift card or the current featured gift. Free checking and free gifts at People's Bank. Member FDIC. You can also get a free Magnolia Panther or SAU Mirrorwater debit card when you open your free checking account at People's Bank. Get it that day, too. Another reason to choose People's Bank, member FDIC. This you do. Will Banks, she dumps off inside to Reese, and Reese puts it up in. 4.05 to play, third quarter, seven point SAU lead. Backcourt pressure, pass off, knock loose, picked up by Morris. So a steal, Morris got it, and then a foul on Kennedy Cummings of ECU. It's her third. And to the line goes Diamond Morris as SAU in the bonus. Jeff says double bonus, but there is no single bonus, so not sure why why Jeff says double bonus. Bonus is two. In women's basketball, first free throw is good for Diamond. And another. Got it. We just need to send Diamond Morris to the line more often. She's four for four at the free throw line. In fact, there hadn't been many other free throws. There's only been one other free throw for SAU made. Pressure on East Central as they inbound to the backcourt. Nine point SAU lead. Take away by Bright at midcourt as she reached in and picked the pocket of Crusoe and Bright drives and lays it in. 43-32. Crusoe double team gets it ahead to Weiberg. Now across to Payne. Waits for Crusoe. Crusoe has it up top now. Over to the right side to Malone out on the perimeter. She bounces down to Payne. Payne kicks out left side. Three air ball from Havens. Out of bounds to SAU. That'll draw the uh, the, uh, the 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 excitement, I guess, of the SAU football team. Must had a uh, we had a uh, shot clock issue there. The shot clock started uh, started late, and the official stops it as SAU comes across. I was going to say the taunts of the SAU football team, but we know they wouldn't do that. They're here in mass, I guarantee you that. Up top, now right wing to Tremmy. Around the perimeter over to Bright on the left wing. Comes right with a screen, then gives back left to Chambers. A three short, and it goes out of bounds. No, no iron on that shot. Turns it over to the Tigers. 43-32, 2.58 to play in quarter number three. In the backcourt, Crusoe. Pressure from Bright. Gets it across midcourt, keeps on motoring, feeds to uh, a backdoor cutter. That's Payne, and Payne puts it in. 43-34. Over to Carter. Carter in for SAU. 
Comes across, gives to the right corner. Missed there from three by Chambers. Bright, though, gets the rebound and brings it out top. To Chambers to her right. Then back left, all the way around to Tremmy. Tremmy drives left, baseline. Runner, air ball. Weiberg has it for the Tigers. Coming the other way. Crusoe front court picked up out top by Bright. 2.15 left in the quarter. Down to Payne in the right corner. Payne going baseline, gets it inside, and lays it in. Let's say you did not cut off the baseline, and Coach Collins wants to talk about that. Timeout, SAU, with 2 of 4 to play, third quarter, 43-36. This is Lady Mule Rider Basketball. Tri-County Oil is a proud sponsor of SAU Mule Rider Sports. Tri-County is your number one source for a complete line of Exxon Mobil Oils, K1 Kerosene, Mineral Spirits, Antifreeze, No-Tax Farm Diesel, Tax-Paid Road Diesel, and 91-Octane Non-Ethanol Gasoline, plus gear oil, grease, motor and hydraulic oil, transmission fluids, and more. Tri-County Oil on North Vine in Magnolia. Open Monday through Friday, 7 to 5. Why would you go anywhere else for oil or gas? We appreciate your business at Tri-County Oil. Psst, the secret to love is a clean car. Rocket Fast Unlimited wash plans are the best way to keep your car spotless. Our washes and plans are even more affordable than ever. Talk about love at first wash. Skip the chocolates and roses. Show your car some love with a wash from Rocket Fast Car Wash. Rocket Fast Car Wash. Rocket Fast. It's a blast. And your vehicle is clean. Low scoring game tonight, especially the, this this third quarter. Each team has only made four field goals in this third quarter. Neither team has made a three. ECU's 0 for 2 from 3. SAU's 0 for 8 from 3 in this third quarter. It's uh, a 10 9 SAU edge in the third quarter. 33 27 at the half. Right for SAU. Kind of bounce it. That went off the Foot I had to have gone off somebody's foot. I think it was off of uh, Tatum Haven's foot. Goes out of bounds, so it's going to be uh, a kick and it'll be SAU ball on the left baseline because that ball hit and it just died and just rolled the rest of the way out of bounds across the baseline. They get it up top to Clemens. Now around to Morris on the wing on the right side. Back left to Wilbanks. Dribbles left, gives back right to Morris. Morris down the paint, drives in, shovels it up, and in. 45-36. Pressure back court. Crusoe comes across, keeps going down the right side, gives to the right corner. Malone trying to throw it out top, intercepted by Anderson. Anderson on the break to the bucket. Shot no good, a layup attempt, but a foul. So she'll get... Two free throws. Payne, the foul. It's her second. So at the line to shoot a pair with a minute 21 left in the third quarter is Zykiri Anderson. It's her first trip to the line. First free throw is good. There we go. Ten-point SAU lead. Now up to 11 to match their largest lead of the night, 47-36. Anderson hit both. Long lob to midcourt for ECU to Ogle. Ogle double team, able to hook it off, though, to Crusoe. Crusoe right wing. Lob up top, Weiberg. Weiberg backs it up. 13 to shoot, a minute left in the third quarter. Crusoe right wing. Gives to Weiberg out top, seven to shoot. She's going to take a long three. It's short, but a long rebound out to Ogle. Ogle gives to the right corner to Crusoe. Up the side, now bounces inside to Weiberg. She'll clear it back out. Crusoe with the drive, then throws up to Ogle. Now to Payne. Payne from the left side. Penetration dribble shot up off the glass. No good. Foul against SAU. Zykeria Anderson. It's her first 14 foul on SAU. That's going to be before a shot. And inbounding right baseline are the Tigers. Reese in for Trini for SAU. To inbound Crusoe looking to cutters. 
Now bounces to Weiberg, and Weiberg able to put it up and in. Very close to a five-second violation there, but uh, just got it in in time. Up top, Reese. Reese needs help. Gives right to Anderson. Drives, and an offensive foul. She left her feet, and uh, Ogle draws the charge. Anderson with her second foul. She's coming out. Kelsey Hawkins is coming in. Nobody for SAU with more than two. Only had seven personal fouls all night. Called on SAU. Up top, Crusoe, five seconds. She drives down the right side of the paint, and somebody got hands on her. It was Diamond Moore. She had the guilty look on her face. Four seconds left in the half. That's uh, five, six team fouls. So Crusoe at the line for ECU with four seconds to play in second half. First free throw is good. Yeah, SAU only had two fouls called on them in the first half. Crusoe hits both free throws. 47-40. SAU in a hurry. Will Banks to Tremmy up top. Three, no good. That brings us to the end of the third quarter. 47-40. SAU after three. This is Lady Deer Rider Basketball. Getting your prescriptions filled is easy at Prince Pharmacy in Magnolia. Become one of their many satisfied customers. You can refill your prescriptions with Prince Pharmacy's mobile app, also with their website, princepharmacyrx.com. Prince Pharmacy has a 24-hour refill line, too. 234-7292. Call before noon for same-day free delivery. They have a convenient drive through too, at Prince Pharmacy in the Southern Medical Group Clinic at 211 East Stadium in Magnolia. Football is better with friends and banking is better with People's Bank. We're offering a CD rate of 5.01 annual percentage yield for 10 months. Minimum balance is $1,000. This offer is effective and APY is accurate from June 1st, 2023 and is subject to change at any time. Don't pass. Rush in to see us today. Substantial penalty for early withdrawal. See Bank for details. People's Bank. Member FDIC. After the game, we'll have our Domino's post game show. We'll carry out a deal for only $7.99 at Domino's, including all their one topping pizzas on any of Domino's five front. Also, eight piece wings or boneless chicken. That's included. Also, Domino's dip and bread twist combos. They're included too. Just $7.99 each. Great carry out deals from Domino's on East Main and Magnolia. Also, at Domino's in Camden. Again, our Domino's postgame show coming up after the game. Tiger ball to start the fourth quarter. SAU up by seven. SAU's been up by as much as 11. East Central has not led in this game. Right wing, Weiberg picks up, throws out top. Went behind off the fingertips of Crusoe, but she kept it in the front court now. Down to Havens, up the baseline. Gives back to Crusoe. Missed left of the paint. Rebound Reese for SAU. Will Banks up the floor, back to Reese at the top, then over to Morris. Morris dribbles in from the right side, then bounces out to the baseline, where Eddie Trimmy knocks it down. 49-40, to 40, SAU. Payne pressured back court, comes across the timeline, hooks it off to Weiberg, and now around to Crusoe. She'll lob it across to Havens. Feeds to the corner. That's uh, Payne. Payne comes out now into the paint from the right side. Turns and shoots and goes down to her backside. A foul called on Diamond Morris. It'll be her second. So two shots coming. Eight minutes, 58 seconds left to play in the game. At the line, Natalie Payne for the Tigers of East Central. 
game will name our People's Bank player of the game. You know, People's Bank will send you a text or email every time you use your People's Bank debit card. It's a fantastic way to protect yourself from fraud and helps you keep a record of your purchases. It's safe, it's easy, and it's free at People's Bank. Member FDIC. Made the first free throw, missed the second. Rebound Trini. SAU front court over to the left side. Now right to Will Banks, then back left to Chambers. Gives to Morris. She bounces it to a cutter. Will Banks. Will Banks lays it in. And she's going to go to the line. Try to make it a three-point play. Fouled by Kennedy Cummings. That is number four on Cummings. Eight minutes and 43 seconds. Left in the fourth quarter. With Will Banks at the line for SAU. And free throw goes. It's at 52 to 41. Russo doubles in the backcourt. Throws it across. Ahead, Kaylee Alt over on the right wing. And she'll give it out to Weiber. Eight and a half to play. Back to Alt. She feeds low to Payne. A foul called on SAU. It was on the entry pass before the shot. Payne laid it in, but fouled on the entry pass. Chambers call for the foul. And ECU will inbound from the right baseline. Bounce into Weiberg. He'll get it out to Alt. Alt comes left. Feeds into the paint to Payne. Goes down. Puts it in from the reverse side. It's good for Natalie Payne. 52 to 43. Long pass up the floor to Morris. Kicks out right corner. No good with a three. Will Banks and East Central coming the other way. 52-43. Tigers Crusoe out top. Lost it. Got it back. Now they work it over to Alt on left wing. Back up top. 15 to shoot. Crusoe with the dribble and East Central is going to use a timeout with 7.47 to play in the fourth quarter. 52-43 SAU. This is Lady Mule Rider Basketball. We can sum up McDonald's new crispy chicken sandwich in one word. Crispy, but also juicy and tender. Okay, it's crispy, juicy, tender. All one word. But then, also pickle. Oh, and potato bun, which is two words. Okay, we can't sum up our new crispy chicken sandwich in one word, so... You'll just have to try it to understand it. Order ahead on the McDonald's app at participating McDonald's. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Cross Liquor Beer and Wine, Highway 1483 West in Magnolia is your one-stop shop for all you need. Located next to the Magnolia Travel Center, Cross Liquor has a large selection of beer, hard lemonades, seltzers, moonshines, and more. Stay dry during those rainy days with Cross Liquor's covered drive through and ask the friendly staff about our loyalty program. Gearing up for a big event or holiday party? Call ahead and Cross Liquor will deliver. 870-626-6135. It's Cross Liquor next door to Magnolia Travel Center. Post-game show after the game. Carry out a deal only $7.99 at Domino's. I mentioned earlier those Domino's dip and bread twist combos included. The five cheese dip and bread twist or the cheesy marinara dip and bread twist for just $7.99. Carry out at Domino's. You see you ball. Work it to the right side. Now up top to home. One dribble and trying to feed it inside, but Wright took that away. Gives the head to Anderson. out a foul against the Tigers Kaylee Alt it's her first second team foul of the fourth quarter they say you ball right baseline into the corner now up to Bright and Chambers excuse me Wilbanks comes to get it work left then back up top Bright has it there Wilbanks screams Right went right, gave back to Will Banks. She drives inside, shot blocked away. Weiberg up with it for ECU. Ahead to Crusoe, nine point game. Crusoe circles that right side, throws across to the left corner. Now they'll kick it back to the top. 
Lob to Crusoe. Turn around at the free throw line. No. And the rebound, Will Banks. She had uh, Havens on her back. Oh! Ooh, they called it on. Will Banks. Ooh, that'll, that'll, that'll draw the ire of the SAU football team over there. She had the inside position. Will Banks did, and it sure looked like Havens came over her back from this angle. ECU inbounds into the left corner from the left baseline. Weiberg brings it out. Off to Payne at the top. A 10 to shoot. Payne works right, and she pushed off. Actually, Haven is setting the screen. This call for the foul as uh, Payne dribbled down the right side. So that'll turn it over to SAU. 52-43. Between the baseball team and the football team. And I'm sure the other teams, but baseball and football like to make themselves heard. <laughs> Will Banks gives to Reese up top, now off left side. I bet that volleyball team could make some noise, though, too. Off left side to Will Banks. They may be working the concession stand, though. Driving is Anderson inside up off the window. Good for Zykeria Anderson. Makes it 54 to 43. Back to an 11 point advantage. It matches SAU's largest lead. Foul in the backcourt called on Zykeria Anderson. It's her third. So Tiger ball just on the backcourt side of midcourt. Weiberg out, Malone in for ECU. First SAU a substitution. Trey Chambers checks in and Anderson goes out. Tigers lob high to Payne. Payne turned and a slap loose right up with a loose ball. One court bright gives top of the key to Trenny. Open look from three. In and out, no good. Crusoe pulls it down for the Tigers. She'll bring it the other way. Now gives a head to Cummings. Cummings front court left side gives to Crusoe trailing. Up top to Payne. Payne feeds into the paint to Malone. Malone in low off the bank. Missed it. Down with it is Bright for SAU and a foul going against the Tigers. Kennedy Cummings. That's five on her, right? That says four on the board. I had her for five. But I undercut somebody else on a foul, I guess. So. But now that they are saying five. It is five. Okay, I'm going to say that's what I had. So she fouls out, I believe. They're checking at the scorer's table. Cummings says she only... Cummings says, no, I only got four, but uh, I had her for five on my score sheet. They're checking the official book to uh, check that. It said four on the on the board, on the scoreboard. But the official book at the scorer's table is what counts. And they are looking at that there. And, and apparently in the scorebook, they only had four written down. So it's only four. Okay. Well, I don't know who the other foul goes to. But anyway, uh, Cummings stays in the game. And SAU inbounds in the backcourt. It's 443. SAU leads 518 to play as SAU comes into the front court. Over left side, Chambers comes right, try to bounce it inside, but that was stolen by Ogle. Tried to bounce it through her, but Ogle was up to the challenge. Crusoe penetrates, gives off, then a kick down low to Cummings, and she was fouled. Missed the lay in, but draws the foul on CC Reese. So it'll be uh, Kennedy Cummings at the line to shoot two for the Tigers. 501 to play of the game. No 
Now we've got uh, free throw, no good. For Cummings, missed the first of two. Going to talk with our football coach, Brad Smiley, at halftime of the men's game. You'll want to listen in for that. Second free throw, good. He, he made one of two. 54-44. SAU with Tremmy, top of the key. Works left, gives off. Morris bounces to Reese. Now back to Tremmy. She'll bring it to the top. Throws left to Morris. Tried to bounce it down, but it was kicked by uh, Chloe Malone. And so they'll put 20 on the shot clock. And SAU inbounds left sideline. Free throw line extended first. Timeout, SAU. 4.44 to play in the fourth quarter. SAU leading by 10. This is Lady Muir Rider Basketball. KVMZ FM Waldo Magnolia and KELD FM Hampton Camden El Dorado 99.1 and 106.5 The new Max FM Short term plans may change but stay focused on three lifetime goals planning for retirement, preparing for the unexpected and creating an estate plan Get in touch with one of Magnolia's Edward Jones financial advisors, Edward Jones member SIPC Monty Harrington here, market president at Farmers Bank and Trust. I've got exciting news for Columbia County. We've opened a new full-service branch at our Arkla location in Welcome. And we've also invested in a new My Farmers iTeller, ITM, and Taylor. These two locations have added even more coverage for our hometown customers. Farmers Bank is committed to making your life easier, no matter what season of life you're in. So stop by any location today and come home to Farmers Bank. Farmers Bank and Trust, Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. Dan Gregory with you tonight from the W.T. Watson Athletic Center at Southern Arkansas University. Let's say you ladies trying to uh, finish off a W here against East Central and sweep the season series as they were winners at East Central. Both SAU teams were winners at East Central uh, earlier this year, back on January 13th. Let's say you by 10 with 444 to play in this game. Morris has it top of the key. Pressure from Ogle. Gives right wing for a three. Won't go for Stanford. And Addie Tremmy came up with a loose ball. And she'll clear it out back to Stanford. Now up to Morris. Morris works it to the left side. Back right Stanford. Still beyond the three-point arc. Feed to the right elbow to Morris. Then over to Anderson for a three. Wouldn't go. Cummings has it for EC. Coming the other way. East Central going from my right to left. Front court give left side to Havens. Bounces inside Caruso. Steps back. Shot went in and out. No good. And on the rebound, we got a foul going against Riley Stanford of SAU. That is her second. Stanford is coming out. Clemens is in. And they're in the bonus now. That's uh, yeah, 16 fouls, so they are in the bonus. Chloe Malone shoots two for the Tigers, and she missed the first one. Four minutes left in this game. And the second free throw goes. She made one of two, 54 245. Say you to the left side. A pass over to Morris. A little offline. Goes out of bounds. SAU will turn it over. Oh, want to be their 13th turnover. East Central has turned it over 19 times. Tigers back court. Rousseau gets it ahead to Cummings. Brings it across. They're doubling her up. Splits some, leans in, passes it ahead, now to the baseline, then back out top. Driving Cummings gives to the left baseline, a miss by Crusoe. And Clemens the rebound. She was battling with Ogle. Ogle tried to take it away, and Ogle whistled for a foul. That's four. That's five on Ogle. That's the where that other foul went. Katie, Kate Ogle with the uh, with her fifth foul. So she fouls out. 
Well, now they're saying four on her. We got her for five. But, oh, well. <laughs> Fifty-four forty-five. Clemens going to the line for SAU. So she's still out there. We got her with five, but uh, got her live stats with five. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. They haven't checked the official book, but Clemens missed the first free throw. And she stays in for now. Free throw long. It is no good. Clemens missed them both. 0 for 6 at the line tonight. East Central rebound. Kennedy Cummings into the front court. And on a trap, she is, uh, they call a timeout. That's what happened. 321 to play. 54 45. SAU. This is Lady Murider basketball. The Magnolia Regional Medical Center General Surgery Clinic at 1005 North Jackson in Magnolia is excited to introduce to Magnolia Dr. Jose Zamora, General Surgeon. Dr. Zamora brings more than 30 years of surgery experience to Southwest Arkansas and looks forward to serving our community. Dr. Zamora performs most types of general surgery procedures and takes direct appointments or referrals from your primary care provider. Call the MRMC General Surgery Clinic today to schedule your appointment, 870-235-3600. So with 321 to play in a nine-point game, still free possession game. It ain't over yet. Inbound East Central Havens. Havens gives off to Cummings. Cummings with the dribble between the circles. Throws off right side to Havens. Now up top, Crusoe. Lobs to Cummings. Dribbles down the paint, going up low. Foul on Quay Chambers. Quay has four fouls. And it'll be two for Kennedy Cummings. 3.06 on the clock. Big free throws for the Tigers. Cummings shooting two. And she missed the first one. In and out. Well, she is one for three at the line. Neither team exactly set the nets on fire at the free throw line. Cummings does hit the second one. 54-46. Let's say you hadn't scored in over three minutes. Still, it's an eight-point game. Bright brings it front court for SAU. Gives to Trimmy. Now over to Anderson, and she'll bring it to the top with a dribble. Around to Bright left wing. Bounces to Morris, flashing out. Looks left, right. Now back over on the left side, over there to Wilbanks. Comes right, throws it back. Kind of a wow pass. It was completed to Morris, but then Morris threw it away, trying to feed it inside. So East Central coming the other way. Up top, Crusoe. 2.35 to play. Feeds to Cummings in the paint. Then to the left corner for three. Good for Tatum Havens from the left baseline corner. And SAU is going to take a timeout now with 2.27 to play in the game. The Lady Mule Rider lead cut to 5, 54-49. This is Lady Mealwater Basketball. Hey, this is Abby. If you need something hauled all over the country, then call my mom at Bo Moses Trucking at 870-234-2803. They can haul just about anything, and they have CDL drivers. Look, if you're going to trust someone with your property, I would choose Bo Moses Trucking, but that's just me. Bo Moses Trucking, 535 East Main in Magnolia. For all your long-haul needs, call Bo Moses Trucking, 870-234-2803. Go Panthers! game here folks it's a two possession game 54 49 SAU with 227 to play in the game each team has one timeout remaining SAU to inbound at the east central end and Will Banks brings it up the floor crosses the timeline picked up out top by Havens bounces to Morris flashing out she turns and drives to the bucket layup hung on the front of the rim Fell off no good, but a foul on Kate Ogle. And now Ogle is going to be out. This time for sure. <laughs> she fouls out. 2.16 to play. 
And Morris to the line. She's going to shoot two for SAU. 216 left in this game. First of two good for Diamond Morris. And the next in and out. No good. Loose ball on the floor. D Central comes up with it. 55 to 49. Kennedy Cummings front court for the Tigers. Works right. Ball knocked loose from behind. A reach by Zykeria Anderson. Anderson picks up her fourth foul. So, more for throws for the Tigers. Let's see whether these go down. Free throw, like I said, free throw shooting tonight has not been uh, not been spectacular either way. SAU 9 out of 20 at the line. East Central 7 for 13. Well, at least that's over 50%, 54%. Cummings shoots two. She makes the first. 55-50. And 51. She made both. So four-point game. Right up the floor for SAU. Haven't had a field goal in over four minutes, SAU. All they have is that one free throw that Morris made in the last four-plus minutes. Right, right side. Catches it, holds it. Morris comes out for it. Now kicks right to Anderson. Comes back left. Pops it top of the key. Won't go. Cummings has it for East Central. Up the floor comes Cummings. 55-51. Throws off right side to Crusoe. Wanted to drive. Trenny cut it off. Backs it out. Bounce down to Malone. Malone inside. Reverse layup. Good for Chloe Malone. And it's a two-point game. 55-53. East Central trying to get their third conference win. And they're only down by two. Bounce to Morris up high at the SAUN. Diamond not even looking to score. Diamond's the best free throw shooter we got. I would say give it to Diamond, let her drive. Penetration Anderson. Now they give up top to Trenny. Trenny drives, puts it up off the dribble. No, won't go. And out of bounds off the East Central. There's a Lady Tiger, a young lady that was going for the rebound. Had to go off her hands out of bounds as she was falling down. So it will be SAU ball on the right baseline. Morris to throw it in. Into the corner to Trimmy. Now they'll get it out top to Anderson. Morris comes out to get it. 14 to shoot, 34 to play. SAU by two. Will Banks comes to get it. Will Banks. Kind of bounce it off to Morris and a kick by uh, East Central. Haven's got a foot on it. Tremmy will end down right sideline, even with the top of the key. They say you by 226 seconds. Right. Into Bright, out top of the key. Coming to get it, Morris. Almost traveled with it. Gave it off to Will Banks. She comes right with a dribble and is bumped by Havens. Havens with her fourth foul. 19.4 to play. So that's going to be a couple of free throws. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Chloe Wilbanks to shoot two for SAU with 19.4 to play. If she hits both, she can make it a two possession game. She makes the first one. So it's a three point game. 56 53. Another big free throw for Chloe Wilbanks. On its way. Got it. She made them both to put SAU up by four. And timeout. East Central with 19.4 to play. That's East Central's last timeout. This is Lady Mule Rider Basketball. Hey guys, Lucas Cheatham here. Kick off the new year with the new you. My mom, Christy, and her team at Health Coast Therapy want to help you feel your best while knocking down those new year resolutions. Health Coast Therapy offers one-on-one care, dry needling, speech therapy, LSBT big, physical therapy, and more. Stop by 1515 East Main Street or visit healthquesttherapy.net. New year means it's time for a new you. Stop by Health Quest Therapy today. Domino 
Angeles Post Game Show coming up in just a little bit. Carry out a deal for only $7.99 at Domino's, including all of their one-topping pizzas on any of Domino's five crust Domino's. East Main and Magnolia, also Domino's and Camden. And after the game, we'll name our People's Bank player of the game. Before you lock in a mortgage rate online, talk to People's Bank first. People's Bank offers great rates on mortgage loans for a new home purchase and refinancing. Plus, People's Bank makes it so easy by being with you every step of the way. People's Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. It's East Central ball, front court, left sideline. They're down by four, 19 points, four to play. They're going to score in a hurry. Lob in underneath. It was too high and off the fingertips, trying to hit Natalie Payne down low, but the pass too high. Best she could do was get her fingertips on it, and it went out of bounds. It'll be SAU ball there. So SAU with no, no shot clock can run out the clock, but East Central's not going to let them do that. Tremie to inbound. Gets it into Morris. Morris is fouled immediately. So Diamond Morris will go to the free throw line for SAU. They lead by four. Best she could do would be put him up by six, which would still be a two-possession game, but only 15.8 to play in the game. I see you making some changes. Everybody except Diamond is uh, is changing out. Better make sure they don't have six players out there. I don't think they do. I think they're good. So now Morris at the line to shoot two. First free throw, good. Another for Diamond. Up and down. Made them both. 59-53. East Central in a hurry. Up the floor comes Cummings. Gives to the right corner for a three. Won't go for Weiberg. Morris rebounds. Morris gets it over to Bright. Bright will give it back to Morris in the backcourt. And East Central will let him run out the clock. 59-53 59-53 is our final. SAU victorious. 59-53. This is Lady Nearwater Basketball. In Magnolia, you might see me at a local game, or we might cross paths at the grocery store, or the next benefit. I'm your local Farm Bureau agent, your local expert when it comes to protecting what you love and depend on. I'm Mark Trout. Call me at 234-1966. For a quick auto, home, or life insurance quote. And to learn more about how Farm Bureau Insurance can save you time and money. That's Mark Trout at 234-1966. Car dealerships are not the same. Hi, Jim Golden with Jim Golden Ford Lincoln in Camden. The difference is we consider our customers part of our family, and families take care of each other. There's no such thing as an unhappy customer when you do business with us. And if you have a problem, we have a problem, and we're going to fix it. That's just how we do business at Jim Golden Ford Lincoln. Come see what it's like to buy from family. I'm Jim Golden, and I'll guarantee you'll like it. Come see for yourself why we say at Jim Golden Ford Lincoln in Camden, where the dealer makes the difference. Dan Gray, we're back with you from the W.T. Watson Athletic Center for our Domino's postgame show. Carry out a deal for only $7.99 at Domino's, including all their one-topping pizzas, also eight-piece wings or boneless chicken, and Domino's dip and bread twist combos, too, just $7.99 each. Joined by Coach Adam Collins uh, as SAU escapes a 59-53 victory there, Coach. Watch you what? Kind of got close. Kinda yeah. Got close. Free th- I, I, I think, like we've been saying uh, for the last two weeks, I mean, Obviously, we go in slumps where we don't shoot it well, and we go in slumps where, where we're not making free throws, you know, and that it's hard to extend the lead or it's hard to keep up with someone that's got the lead on you, uh, but they're working on it. I mean, again, I think for the most part tonight, their effort was really, really good. Um, we just, you know, got to make a little bit better decisions, and we got to step up and knock down those free throws. That's that's basically what it boils down yeah, to. Yeah, those, those free throws are, are crucial. Yeah, you went through, gosh, I don't know. It was over four minutes of uh, a stretch there where you just didn't have any points. Right, and, and that, that's it's every game, Dan. Like it's it's sometimes it's four, sometimes it's seven. It's been eleven, you know, and we just got to figure out a way to get some points in that realm, um, you know, uh, and we'll keep working at it. But uh, again, at this stage in the season, with what these girls have been through, you know, 
came back after Christmas break playing really well. Whole team caught the flu. Didn't have true lineups in either of our two games in Arkansas that week. Uh, and then the next week you had true lineups, but you had people coming back off the flu and not practicing. And, you know, that's a bad time to get it. But our girls have been very, very resilient. And every win the rest of the way is going to be resilient. Like you're going to have to fight and claw every game. And that's what we just did. Pressure. Uh, pressure did what it was supposed to do. Forced 20 turnovers. You have scored them and points off turnovers 27 to 11. I'd like to see that stat. Yeah, yeah, I, I think that's a, a, a thing for us. We've got to get more steals. And, uh, again, the better we score, the better we are at getting steals. And so when we were scoring, we were getting a lot of steals. And then when we go uh, quiet for a while, then we don't. But uh, all in all, uh, you know, it's just, again, the positive thing is you win a game against a team. That's a team that's been playing well. Like, their record's not great. But they took Northwestern yeah. State. They took Northwestern State to the wire. Uh, and they took Harding to the what they were down one going into the fourth quarter with Harding, and then they beat Arkansas Tech. That was their last game. They beat Arkansas Tech, so they're playing better and better and better. And, and it's typically a very good program. Yeah, yeah. And, and they always are better at the end of the year. Yeah. What they do, the, the offense that they run, and the way they play takes a lot of continuity and a lot of chemistry. And they're always better at the end of the year than they are at the beginning right. of the year. So, uh, shout out to them for for. You know, fighting and playing strong. That, that's a great coach team. And uh, like I said, at this stage, we take every win we can, regardless of the score, regardless of what happens. One game at a time, right, right. Coach? All right, thanks, that. Coach. Appreciate you. Coach Adam Collins joining us here after the game on our uh, Domino's postgame show. Let's continue uh, with our uh, with our stats. SAU for the night. Yeah, that fourth quarter, SAU only made three field goals, shot 30%, 3 out of 10, 0 for 4 from 3. They did not hit a 3 the whole second half. Went 0 for 13 from 3 uh, in the third and fourth quarters combined. So just didn't shoot the ball very well at all uh, in that second half. Uh, 41% for the night, 22 out of 54. East Central, about the same uh, percentage, 41%. They were 20 out of 49 from the field. They hit fourthies. They were 4 out of 14 for 29%. SAU 2 out of 24 for just 8% from three-point range. At the free throw line, East Central, 60%, 9 out of 15. And Southern Arkansas was 13 for 24 for uh, for 54%. On the boards, a slight edge for East Central, 35-34. Mentioned the 20 turnovers for East Central. SAU had 14, 14 steals for the Lady Mule Riders and 6 for the Lady Tigers in this game here tonight. All right, let's give you the individual numbers. SAU led in scoring by Diamond Morris, who finishes with uh, 13 points tonight. We've got 10 from Eddie Tremie. Those were the only uh, Lady Muir Riders in double digits. Six for Zykeria Anderson, eight for Quay Chambers, six for Chloe Wilbanks, four for Marley Bright. CeCe Reese scored eight, two for Lynn Griffin, and two for Kelsey Hawkins to round out the story. For SAU, for East Central, uh, Mackenzie Crusoe and Chloe uh, Malone each scoring 11, eight apiece for Natalie Payne and Kennedy Cummings, seven for Jaden Weiberg, Tatum Haven scored three, three for Kaylee Alt, um, let's see, two for Alexis Belcher rounds out the scoring for East Central. All right, let's uh, let's name our People's Bank Player of the Game. Good, good, good night. Oh. Uh, for the most part by Diamond Morris. She scored 13 points tonight, pulled down six boards. She also led the team in assists with four, and she led the team in steals with four. So Diamond Morris is our People's Bank Player of the Game. People's Bank will donate to the SAU Athletics Fund in the name of our Player of the Game. People's Bank, the only bank dedicated exclusively to Columbia County. People's Bank, member FDIC. Final again, SAU a winner, 59 to 53 to go to 5 and 10 in conference 10 and 11 overall east central falls to 2 and 13 in conference play there 6 and 13 overall 59 53 is the final men's action coming your way next we've got it for you right here on max fm so stick around <laughs> 